Hey, ten fold. I'm Randani Maimera, I attend school at Tendo Tech in Kahai. Will you please help me on this question regarding probability? Thank you. It says using the letters in the word fundamentals. Okay, so firstly, we need to know how many letters there are in fundamentals. There are 12 letters. Okay, that's important. Determine firstly the number of unique 12 letter arrangements that can be formed. Okay, so I know that immediately when you guys get a question like this, you go, okay, if I'm trying to make complete rearrangements of these letters, I know that it doesn't say anything about repetition or not repeating. So you can assume that you're allowed to repeat letters. So you're going to say, okay, I have 12 letters. It's going to be 12 factorial because Okay, you can't repeat letters. So if you have 12 factorial, you have 12 options for the first letter, 11, 10, 9, and, and it's that many combinations. It's 12 factorial. That's where you're going to get caught out because it says unique letter arrangement. So why that's important? Unique. The moment you have any kind of repetition of letters in here, you're going to have repeated options. So if I say to you, I have the word book, and I want to rearrange it. I can rearrange it to say O-B-O-K, -okay, and that's one word. But then if I swap the two O's, that's exactly the same word, but it's a repetition. It is two different options, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Those two aren't unique, but they still form part of that 12 factorial that we would have from fundamentals. So that O-B-O-K -okay from book, because there are two O's, means that they're two exactly the same words, but they still count as two separate options, which means they're not unique. They're repetitions. Okay, so in the word fundamentals, we have two N's and two A's, which means that there are two factorial for the N's and two factorial for the A's, repetitions, possible repetitions if we rearrange all of these letters. So, first we need to find the total number of any rearrangement. So, regardless of if you're going to have repetitions or not. So, remember the total number is going to be 12 factorial, which is going to be an absolutely massive number. So, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Total repetitions... is going to be 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. Because remember, when you have all of these options, like, for example, I do book again, I'm going to have four options there, three there, two, and one. But remember, you always multiply. So for the repetitions, it's the same thing. Two repetitions of N and two repetitions of A. OK, so that's going to give us 2 factorial is 2 multiplied by 2 is Four. So that's the number of repetitions. Okay, so the total unique rearrangements is equal to the total number that you could possibly get, get including the repetitions, divided by the number of repetitions that are possible because of these repeated letters. Okay. And that is still going to give us an absolutely massive number, but you need to give a numerical number in your answer. So 12 factorial is up here on this x to the power of negative 1 button. You say shift that button and you get factorial. Okay, so 12 shift to get factorial all divided by 4. And that is going to give us a massive number. It's 119750. 400. So that is 109,750,400 12 letter rearrangements that you can make with the word fundamentals, excluding the repetitions. You could still have four other repetitions in that number. So that is a massive number of rearrangements that you could make with the letters of fundamentals. Okay, so let's look at question two. It says, determine the probability. Remember, very important. It's not a big number, it's going to be a number over another number. The probability that a new arrangement will start and end with the letter N. Okay, this is where it gets tricky as well. They make no mention of 
out of the possible rearrangements, out of the unique rearrangements. Okay, so that first question is a standalone. It's basically testing whether or not you understand what unique means. This one is saying, find the probability that your rearrangement is going to start and end with n out of any possible rearrangements you had. Okay, so we're going to take that 12 factorial instead of this 109 million. Okay, so the total rearrangements is equal to 12 factorial because they didn't say anything about the unique ones they just said any of them okay again massive number I'm not going to write it out right now the number 4 starting and ending with n okay let's map this out if we have a 12 letter rearrangement 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 starts with n ends with n. So to start with, we have two n's. Remember, fundamentals has two n's in it. So we have two n's to choose from. Once that n has been chosen, we have one left over here. And now, two of our letters have been taken away, so we have 10 left for that second letter. And then it goes down, 9, 8, 7, etc., 2, 1. Okay, so this is all represented by 10 factorial. Remember that. Then we have the 2 here. So 2 multiplied by 10 factorial multiplied by the 1 option there. And that is going to give us 2 multiplied by 10 shift factorial and that is 725,7600. Okay, so that's the total for starting and beginning with n. Okay, so now to find the probability, remember, probability of starting and ending with n is going to be the number of n n divided by the total. Okay, that's how you work out probability. So we are going to get the number, which was the 7 million, 257,600 divided by the total, which we said was 12 factorial. So let's put that into our calculator. We already have this number up, so we'd simply divide by 12 factorial and we get 1 out of 66. So out of those massive numbers, it was like 190 million or something massive number of rearrangements. They're basically saying that the probability or the odds of finding a rearrangement that starts and ends with the letter N is 1 out of 66. It's a very small probability.